everyone. This is Dan Bell and welcome to Cutting Room Floor episode number seven. On this episode, I'm going to be doing a complete commentary, director's commentary on the Neon Dreams Dead Mall, Abandoned Mall video. Uh, if you want to see this without my commentary, you can follow the link in the description below and that'll take you over to the original video. So anyway, um, where should I begin? Um, I will say this, just out of the gate, this is one of my favorite videos, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, well, I, I, it's up there, but let, let me tell you why. The scenery is astounding. I mean, to me it is. I think the scenery is astounding. It's, we're, it's the middle of the night. You're in a, I'm in a mall that is abandoned, that is stuck in some kind of a strange, it's, it's like trapped between worlds. It's like, here we are in 2015. Meanwhile, this mall is in 1995 and 1985, some of it. <laughs> I mean, it's this strange place that is stuck between dimensions. And then the cool thing about it is that when I put this together and then I, I don't know how I met the guy who did the music for this video, Dan, his name is Rad Dan. Um, I don't know if we met on YouTube. I, I don't think we met on YouTube. I think we met on Twitter. Um, and if you're not following me on Twitter, it's, at this is Dan Bell. You should get over there immediately and follow me. But anyway, so Dan had an album called um, Blockbuster and Chill. The music from that album and the scenery at this mall were like made for each other. Like it couldn't have been a better match. There is just no way. There's no way there could have been a better match. Um, it's just beautiful together. I love it. I love it. It, it hit like, um, you know, it's, this is the second video I've used the kind of the vaporwave music. Um, the, the funny thing is, is, uh, the first video, the gallery mall in Philadelphia. And I, I used the music from the, uh, album hologram Plaza by Disconscious. That also went together perfectly, but for some reason, this rang even sweeter to my ears for some reason. I don't know what it is. I love both albums. I mean, both albums are great, but for some reason, this just clicked a little bit better, um, this video and the music, then the gallery and that music. Does that make sense? But I love the gallery mall video too. I don't know. There's just something about this. Maybe it was the kind of the surreal feel that I had when I was, you know, the, the, it's just very, it was a very surreal evening being inside of this place. So maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. I'm still kind of woozy from the whole experience. I'd love to do it again, but it'll never happen again. Cause uh, they've got this place locked up. I mean, it's the, you can't get in here anymore. I, we, we, we got in just by pure luck. I mean, it was seriously like pure luck. It just happened to be an evening where somebody made some kind of a mistake and we were able to gain access from that mistake. Look at this Moto Black Razor <laughs> phone ad from Singular. <laughs> I mean, that is just crazy. We're going into FYE here. You can see how the the uh, gates are cut, and they did that. They were they held um, fire and police emergency trainings or exercises inside of this mall. So after it had closed, they were using it for that. So um, that's why a lot of the windows are broken and a lot of the gates are cut open. But the funny thing is, I used to go to the mall when it was open, and I remember talking to 
uh, some of the business owners because at the the last I would say probably ten years of this mall's life, it was mostly um, just small business owners. It wasn't really any chains inside. I think there was maybe a Radio Shack and um, a Bonton, and I. Th- think that was it i think everything else was a you know small business owners but um i remember talking to this guy about one of the store spaces and it it was actually the store space with you'll see here in a minute with the squiggly neon on the ceiling um I asked him, I was like, you know, I was like, how long has that been closed? And he said, it's, he's like, it closed in the nineties and it's never been reopened as something else. It's just sat there since the nineties. And so it was probably opened as a store in the eighties and then closed in the nineties and was never, so it's just like an eighties time warp. It's just, just so friggin' bizarre. I can't even, (laughs) I can't even, uh, get into it. There were some songs that like hit me that I was thinking about when we were walking through. I was like, I was like, what songs would you hear in here in like 1983? And I was thinking like, maybe like, um, uh, what would be a good song? Like, like, uh, Jane, James Ingram, uh, just once you guys know that song. I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. How does it go? I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Cause here we are back where we were before. (laughs) Like that kind of song. Like you would hear that in in the, uh, in the mall. (laughs) guys i'm really tired when i'm doing this so i'm like (laughs) i'm gonna be all over the place for the next 15 minutes oh there's another there's another good song here wait a minute i'm I'm looking at songs that would have been playing in this mall um in 1983 here let's see here do 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 oh here's a good one longer than they've been fishes in the ocean higher than any bird ever flew <laughs> longer than there've been stars up in the heavens i've been in love with you <laughs> you know you go into like uh, the sporting goods store and that song's playing and you're like i need I need some golfing mittens. <laughs> I, I need a driving gloves. That's I think that's what they call them, driving gloves. What am I talking about? Let's continue on here. Guess which asshole called. I can't, I could not believe when I found those. I couldn't believe it. Okay, so here we have this, uh, we had a lot of malfunctioning fluorescent bulbs inside of the mall. And a lot of people, for some reason... A lot of people ask me, like, is this a sound effect? Are these sounds effect? Is this fake? Is this fake? Is this a sound effect? Listen, I am getting kind of tired of the sound effect detectives that are asking me every five minutes if I have, if I've used a goddamn sound effect in the video, um, I just don't see how it's a relevant question. I really don't. I don't see how it's relevant. How is it relevant? If you've enjoyed the video, then what difference does it make if you're hearing a sound effect or not? You know what I mean? Maybe I'm being touchy. I don't know. I've been very touchy for the last couple weeks. So I've jumped down some people's throats who've like irritated me on Twitter and um, uh, Facebook and Instagram. I just delete people because I just can't deal. But I will tell you that um, I did add some sound effects to this video. Uh, I didn't add many. I only added maybe like 
the, about 98% of the sounds that you hear in this video are the actual ambient sounds of the mall. Um, the buzzing lights, there was a lot of fluorescent lights that were malfunctioning, obviously, because the mall has been closed. The lights have, you know, some of the lights have been turned off for years and just recently have been turned back on again. So they're, they're really suffering, uh, and making a lot of noise, but I just enhanced a few of the scenes with the lights blinking to, to give it some effect, some effect. But I, I am frankly, I am, I'm surprised maybe because, oh, I love this scene, but I thought that there was someone sitting on the shelf hiding from me. It scared me to death. I don't understand the, uh, the sound effects, the sound effect people. I, I just don't get it. I don't, I just don't understand it. I don't, I don't watch a video and go, is that a sound effect? I mean, I really, I just don't think about it because I like to look at art in the way that the person who made it wants you to see it. I don't necessarily need to know the technical um, side of what went into producing it. You know what I mean? But so many people, I, it's, just, it's just people on YouTube are very jaded about very cynical about, you know, they feel like they're being like faked out because they watch a video with some sound effects in it. It's so stupid. I don't even, I don't have time for that kind of irritation. So I think I'm going to make a official, this is an official announcement. I wish I had some kind of a horn or something, but I am no longer going to discuss the sound in my videos with anybody. I'm done. I am done. I put this video up within 10 minutes. Five people asked me, is all the buzzing noise real? It's like, what difference does it make? I don't, I don't get it. So from now on, I'm not answering any more questions about the sound. I'm not doing it. You either appreciate the sound or you don't. I don't care one way or the other. Well, I mean, of course I care. I, I, you know, I'm always appreciative when people appreciate the amount of work that goes into the sound of these videos, which is why they're so effective is because the sound is so good. Um, but you know, I, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I'm done. I am so sick of answering questions about it. And it's like you, I, I shouldn't have to. So I just, I'm sick of it. I am really tired of it. Am I bitching too much on this video? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm very, very tired. <laughs> I am exhausted. It is, let's see. It's 1137 AM on Monday. I have been up since four o'clock in the morning because I had to do, I had an early morning job. So I'm a little sleepy. I only got a couple hours of sleep last night, so I'm punchy. Enjoy my punchiness. Um, so here we go. This was a Suncoast video. And it's very dark in there. Another thing about this shoot is I did not use the camera that I normally use. I didn't use it. I used a different camera. And I don't like, I mean, it looks good, but it's not, it's not my good camera. It's, um, the reason I didn't take that camera is because this was so last minute that, uh, I didn't even have the batteries charged. So I had to, uh, I had to take the other camera and shoot this video with, I was, I was nervous about it because I didn't know if it would turn out because the other camera is so good and low light. Um, but, uh, this camera is good in low light too. Did a pretty good job. The quality is a little degraded on YouTube anyway. So, you know, it's, you're not going to see an original crisp version of it on YouTube. 
unless I uploaded, wonder if I uploaded 60 frames in 4K, if I up it to 4K, I wonder if it would um, improve like the pixelation that happens on YouTube when you're watching um, videos. I don't know. I'd have to investigate. I have to, I'm talking to myself. Let's continue on into the mall. This is this store. Look at this place. This store here, I think, um, I think might have been some kind of an arcade, perhaps. I think it was an arcade. Has anyone seen High Strong? I know how that guy feels. He's like screaming. Of course, Jim Carrey's in it with his, uh, I'm sure Jim Carrey did that film before he got famous. Long John Silvers. Was Long John Silvers, was their jingle? Long John Silvers, sounds good to me. Is that, is, was that Long John Silvers? Am I wrong? Long John Silvers, sounds good to me. I can't remember. Seems maybe. This, this place smelled so bad, it smelled like grease. Of course, everything at Long John Silvers, I think, is fried. I don't think I've ever eaten at a Long John Silvers. I've never been um, enticed by the captain. The old grizzled captain who is out fishing all day and then brings his fresh catch into the Long John Silvers restaurant and serves up these delicious meals to hungry patrons this this here was um, a Hardee's at one time, I believe. I think that's right. I think it was a Hardee's. But look at this place. It's this is like 1981 is what this looks like. Like I would say early early 80s. I wouldn't say 70s. I would say early 80s, like 81, 82, somewhere around there. Now it's just. Nasty. Look at how gross that is. Oof. I had so much fun filming this video. It was so much fun. It was just such a cool experience. And I'm so glad that this video exists. I really am. Because this mall is going to be gone. And when it's gone, it's gone. There's nothing... You know, you won't see this again. And so now we have a little movie of the mall to see and to appreciate what was once there. And that's the reason I do most of these videos, because I feel like they have a lot of worth. At least, you know, a decade from now, two decades from now, people are going to be watching this stuff being like, wow. It's all part of our, of our uh, history, really. CVS CVS there was nothing in CVS it was a completely empty room not room but a space so they had an out outdoor entrance outdoor exit entrance and then they had a mall entrance as well and here is the old school subway this is pre pedophilia Nope. <laughs> this is before a 500 pound sack of garbage named Jared Pullen walked in the door sweating like a, a wet mop and eating a vegetable sub daydreaming about when he can finally move quick enough to grab a child. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hate that guy. He, I, I've always hated Jared Pullen. I, I just, I hate him. Is that his last name? Pullen? Jared Pullen? No, wait a minute. Oh God. I hope I'm not making a mistake. I have to look this up real quick. I'm sorry, guys. Jared. Cause there's a Jared Pullen on, on, um, Oh, no. 
did I did I say it wrong? Oh no, his name is Jared Fogel. <laughs> Jared Poland is the guy Frono's photo. I'm so sorry, Jared Poland. If you ever see this video, I did not mean to. Oh no. <laughs> Jared Fogel, not Jared Polin. What am I thinking? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so sorry, Jared Polin. I did not. I got the Jareds mixed up. Jared Polin, Frono's photo is, I I think he's great. I love his videos. Um, so if you get a chance, go check out his channel too. <laughs> He has some, he has really great reviews and tips about photography and, uh, he's really good at what he does, but he is not, he is not Jared Fogel. Anyway, moving on, you guys know who I was talking about anyway. So let's move on. This was uh weird, this inside of this theater, that noise that was coming from the ceiling, like it was like. I felt like I was in outer space. Like it was so weird and so eerie and just amazing. If you wear headphones and watch this part, just turn it up and listen. I could literally listen to it like forever. It's just like this repetitive muffled noise. It sounded like, um, like maybe like a pump or some kind of ventilation fan or something. But, uh, yeah yeah but uh yeah <laughs> oh man so this is the projection booth which someone on i don't know who it was someone said it looked like a robot factory <laughs> which i thought was funny because it actually does kind of look like a robot factory but anyway, we're getting near the end of this video. I can't believe I'm going to release this uh, commentary. I sound like a babbling lunatic. But I'll put it out. Whatever. Who cares? I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And um, I think that's all I have to say. I think. What else did I want to say? I can't remember what I wanted to say. Anyway, thank you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Um, until next week, we'll talk soon. And I don't cry when I hear our favorite song. No, I don't mind.